Hello everybody. Today we are going to be talking about Neon Bindings. Neon Bindings helps us to embed REST code within our Node.js environments. So reason for writing your code in REST could be like to access features of the operating system or to make use of uh, parallelism or make use of memory safe operations. So what Neon Binding would actually do is uh, it helps us to uh, access the rest code by exposing the apis in a public manner for the purpose of this demo uh, i would be creating a, a neom project which generates a random project name right so uh, so this is the uh, npm init script uh, and we have specified our project name so uh, as you could see, uh, it has created a boilerplate code. So this is our boilerplate code. And uh, we have these uh, generated by the Neon generator. Uh, Package.json has uh, a, a something called as Carbo CP art artifacts as the dependency. Uh, we also have a cargo lock and cargo uh, file here. It has Neon dependencies added and in our source code, we have our, our Rust code. So uh, to explain this, we could see that uh, we have a Rust function called as hello and it returns a string hello, hello node. And using the Neon code, we have uh, exposed this hello uh, function uh, to be usable by the node environment. So, uh, so now we would uh, add another dependency. So, uh, so I'm planning to use this uh, this Rust library, which is names, and it, as you could see, it it just gives random name string for uh, container usage or project names. So, uh, I'm going to be copying this. Uh, I'll be pasting it here. I'm also going to copy these into my rest file so uh, i'm going to be creating a new function would name it as project name And I am going to be then calling this, and I would be exposing this uh, method to the out to the node environment using uh, the method get project names. Let's try and see if we could run this it takes a while to compile for the first time but subsequent compilation is pretty fast uh, the compilation is successful and you could see we have an index.node file created so now if we go inside our node console and So if we call our function hello, uh, it would print hello node. Uh, and now if we try to generate a new project name using this method that we have exposed in the previous step, uh, it should it should generate a random project name. So we have uh, brief scissors, numberless motion, married slip. Uh, so the possibilities are immense. Uh, we could uh, now do uh, cross-platform development. We could develop memory safe code on Rust and then expose that to the Node.js ecosystem. The possibilities are immense. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, do subscribe if you like this video, this content. Thank you so much.